Hello darlings and welcome back to my channel. Just move this out of the way. Okay, so as you can see from the title of today's video, we're talking about something a lot more serious. This is talking about how to deal or cope with grief. Now, I'm going to cover two different areas. I'm going to cover how to deal with grief if you are grieving yourself and also how to help somebody that is grieving because a lot of people don't really know what to do in the in that situation where you've got a friend or a family member that is grieving and maybe it probably might not be a family member but maybe a friend somebody that's grieving and you're not grieving you know maybe you didn't know that person or it hasn't affected you in the same way it's affected them and you don't know how to deal with it you don't know how to talk to that person you don't know how to help them so I'm going to go through that as well now this is quite a um, you know serious subject for my channel I don't really talk about things like this on my channel um, you know you've seen what I put on my channel usually um, but I have mentioned before that I am a qualified counsellor and this is one of the subjects that I had to study so I am qualified this is going to be more of a professional opinion obviously I've experienced grief myself as well and I've experienced um, having to kind of help people that are grieving as well just in my personal life um, but I am a professional and I will be giving you my professional advice as a counsellor in this particular video it's got, not going to be a depressing video it's not going to be upsetting it's going to be just factual and how to help you so I hope you do find it helpful okay so the first thing is grief itself so what is grief most people would say that grief is something that happens when someone dies you know someone or something so a pet or a person dies you grieve them but actually grief is the loss of something so grief is how you feel when you think about the loss of something or someone so again that could be a pet it could be a person and what I mean by a loss it doesn't even have to mean death Somebody could be dying, somebody could be ill and they've got, you know, they've been given three years to live, which isn't long, but it's not three weeks, you know. So what can happen is you can actually start grieving for someone before they've even gone. Because what's happening is your brain is processing what is going to happen. So you are anticipating their death, even though they might have an extra three years or five years, you can actually be grieving for that person long before they've actually died. And that is perfectly normal. Grief doesn't have to start when the person or animal has died. You can grieve long before they've even gone. That is completely normal. Another thing that you can grieve about isn't anything to do with death. It can be a relationship whether it's a family member or a romantic relationship you can grieve that relationship that didn't work out because grief comes from love you never grieve for something or someone that you didn't care about you know it just doesn't happen you can feel bad if you see something on the news and it hasn't uh, you know, you didn't know the person, someone's died, and you can think, oh, that's terrible, and you can feel bad, and you can have sympathy, but you wouldn't necessarily grieve, because you didn't know who the person was, it doesn't directly affect you, but you will feel bad, or, you know, sad about it, but you're not actually grieving. So grief only happens when we deeply love someone or something. You can't grieve for something you didn't really care about in the first place. So it always comes from love. So actually it's a positive thing because if you're grieving for something or someone, it means you truly, truly love them. Again, it could be a pet or a person. And if you've lost a relationship, you can grieve because what you're grieving is, you're grieving the loss of the relationship. You're grieving the loss of that person. Yes, they haven't died, but they are no longer with you in the same way that they were with you. And even though they could be alive and happy and healthy and they could live in the next street, you can grieve that relationship. Again, that is completely normal. So, I do have some notes here so I don't forget what I'm going to say as well. 
Another thing that happens when we're grieving, now going back to grieving um, the loss of death, the loss of a person. So when we grieve, we go through so many different stages. So initially it is numb, it's shock. We're in shock. Whenever you hear that someone's died, your pet's died, a relative, a friend has died, it's initially shock. Even when they were ill and you were anticipating it, it's still shock. Again, it's completely normal. So sometimes you might find that someone has just found out someone's died and yet they're not sad. And some people don't understand that. They think, well, hasn't so-and-so just died? Why are they acting fine? Why are they acting normal? Why are they not upset? Why are they not crying? They are in the initial phase. Now, everybody has the initial phase, but everyone um, experiences it for a different amount of time. You know, someone might be in the shock phase for weeks and they still haven't cried yet. They're just numb. Even at the funeral, they might not cry. Again, it doesn't mean they didn't care. They're just in the shock phase for longer than the next person. Someone else might be in the shock phase for five minutes. They might initially have heard the news. They're in absolute shock. They don't know how to process it. Their brain's going a thousand miles an hour. They're in the shock phase. But then five minutes later, they then go to the next phase, which is the actual grieving, where they feel bad, they feel sad, they're upset. So again, the initial shock phase, everybody goes through it. Some people even years, some people haven't cried they still haven't cried for the, the person that's died and it's been years and this because they're still in the shock phase so it it varies from person to person but it is completely normal but what needs to happen in order for you to heal properly is that you need to go through each phase if you're stuck in a phase you need to get help about it because you need to be able to move through each phase so if you have been in the shock phase for years and you haven't actually grieved, you need to get help about that because you do need to move through the phases. So again, it's perfectly normal to be in the shock phase and don't judge somebody if they don't seem as upset as you think they should be because everybody deals with it differently and at their own pace, it's completely normal. So we've got the numb, shock, then we've got the upset. Then we can get angry. So why did it have to happen to them? Why not so-and-so? you know, why are there bad people in the world and so-and-so died and we feel angry, okay? Then we try and process it and we learn how to move on and deal with it. And then we finally do cope with it and learn to move on and be happy again. Again, each phase lasts a different amount of time, different people. Another thing that is completely normal when you're grieving is you can think that you've dealt with the grief. So you might feel fine, you might think, not fine, but you might think, finally, I, I've dealt with it. I've been crying for six months solid and today I feel great. And then you could be going out at, to the movies two months after that and you haven't cried for months and everything's been fine and then suddenly you start crying. Now this happens so often, it's perfectly normal, but most people think, oh my gosh, that I've gone backwards. I thought I dealt with it, that means I haven't. And they panic and they think maybe they're getting depressed or it's perfectly normal. You don't have to, once you've moved on from the grief, you are allowed to then cry and get upset at times. It doesn't mean that you're going backwards. It's perfectly normal. It's what happens. Another thing that people find it really hard to do is to move on. They really, really struggle. They think, I can't move on. And the reason they think that is they think that if they move on or they laugh one day or they go and watch a comedy or they dance at a club or have fun or go on holiday, they feel guilty because they think it means that, um, you know, they, they feel bad because they should be grieving. It's perfectly normal and you have to move on. Moving on doesn't take away from the love that you had for the person or the animal. It doesn't it doesn't take away from it, it's a separate thing. You love that person, you grieved them, you will always love them and you will always feel sad about it, but you've moved on and you need to learn to be happy in order for you to be healthy. It's perfectly fine for you to smile again and be happy again. It doesn't take away from the love that you shared for that person. And lastly, I wanna say, when you know somebody that's grieving, they actually really appreciate it when you can talk about the person that's died, believe it or not. 
talk about them and share positive experiences, it will really help them out.